Now, the BBC News at One with Sophie Rayworth. A series of bomb attacks in Brussels. At least 26 people are dead and many more are injured. This was the scene in the departure hall at Brussels airport moments after the first bombs went off. The blasts were detonated at 8 o'clock this morning as passengers were checking in. Authorities believe at least one was a suicide bomb. We looked to our left side and it looked like 50 metres of us. Uh, was a big explosion. First we thought it was a billboard falling down or something. My colleague uh, was looking and was wondering what, what is it. And I said, uh, run, run, we, we ran away. An hour later, in the heart of Brussels, smoke billowed from a metro station after a third blast tore through a packed underground train. Survivors were led from the metro along a tunnel to safety. At least 15 people died there. Scores more are injured. I was in the metro heading from Arloa to Malbec and we received a big blast of air and the train stopped. Really? The attacks come just days after the arrest in Brussels of the Paris terror suspect Salah Abdesalam. We'll have the latest live from Brussels, also this lunchtime. Facing questions, the Chancellor, George Osborne, appears before MPs for the first time since the resignation of Ian Duncan Smith. Concern grows over the number of schoolchildren sharing explicit photos on their mobiles. Trying to tackle a rise in type 2 diabetes, around 20,000 people will be offered access to personal trainers and exercise classes. In sports, England's women give themselves every chance of beating the hosts at the World 2020 in India. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. There have been a series of bomb attacks in the Belgian capital Brussels this morning that have left at least 26 people dead and many more injured. The first went off in the departures hall at Brussels International Airport. As people ran towards the exit, there was a second bigger explosion, probably a suicide bomber, say the authorities. At least 11 people were killed. But then, around an hour later, there was a third explosion on the Brussels metro in the heart of the city, right by the EU institutions. It was rush hour. At least 15 people were killed and, again, many more injured. The devastating explosions come just four days after the arrest in the city of the Paris terror suspect Salah Abdesalam. The Belgian Prime Minister has called the attacks a dark moment for the nation. Belgium is now in virtual lockdown. Our first report on the Brussels attacks is from Johnny Diamond. A departure lounge becomes a war zone. What it was? A job or was it a terrorist? Travellers cower in fear of further attack. A soldier can also do nothing. Two bombs had ripped through the building. Some ran to safety.